hi everyone this is the first video of apm series and in this series we will see the apm practically i will not be covering the theoretical part and i will be covering the apm for android on the windows laptop only i will not be covering the ios part and in this video we will be covering apm setup for windows machine so first we need java jdk install on our machine so for that you can go to this page so you can go to this url and you need to download the jdk so i am downloading the jdk of 64 bit as my laptop mm. is 64 bit then once you download and install the jdk you need to set up the java home and uh, jdk bin path in your laptop so for that you have to once you have downloaded and installed this you have to go to the system variables and you need to have the java home configured here once you set up the java home in your system variables you need to set up the bin path of your jdk in the path variables so i have set up the java home here in my system variables and after that i have double click on the path options and set up the bin here so percent java underscore java underscore home person slash bin so once you set up this you need to verify whether it is working successfully and installed successfully or not so for that you can open the uh, command prompt with the admin mode and you can use this command java hyphen version and you can check whether the java version is correctly showing there or not so in this way you can verify whether your jdk is properly installed or not now we are done with the java setup now you need to install the android studio so for that you need to go to this website this is the url and from here you can download and install the android studio while installing the android studio make sure that you select the android virtual devices option so during the installation process you will get the option to install the android virtual devices so please make sure that you select this option during the installation once the installation part is over during the initial process uh, like initial setup once the android studio is launched it will give you an option to download some sdk components so you need to also download those sdk components as well once this is done you need to set up the android home similar to your java home so for that this is the path so if you set up everything as default you will see the this android sdk in your c users your username app data local android and sdk so this is your android home path and once you set up this similar to java bin jdk bin you have to also add some options in the android home as well so you have to double click on path and you need to have platform tools and platforms configured there so in this way platform platform tools and bin tools these three options i have in my path variable so once this is done to check whether this is working successfully or not you, you can open the command prompt and you need to execute this command adb devices or adb.exe devices and you will see this message here if you see this message list of devices attached then you can assure that your uh, installation is working properly now we are done with the java and the android studio part now we will have to also configure the maven so for that you need to download the bin files so you can go to this and you can the download apache maven bin zip here so once you download this you can extract it and during extract part you have to make sure that there is no spaces in between the name similar to this and uh, once you unpack it you need to have the maven home as well so this option you have to select for the download part and once this is done you have to add the m2 home so similar to java home and android home this is the maven home 
so c apache maven maven version so once this is done you also have to add maven bin path in your path variable so once this is done you can cross check using mvn hyphen version command so if you see this information so you can uh, uh, assure that your installation is working properly so now we are done with the java android studio avd installation as well as maven installation now we will see how to install the apm so for that you can go to node.js page so this is the url you can download this version node version and you can install it after the installation is done you can uh, execute this command in your command prompt and once this is done you can execute this apm command in your command prompt so once you execute this apm command after the completion of this one you will see this message like apm listener started on 00004723 so in this way you can install the apm as well and the second alternative is you can have the apm desktop so uh, in our practical examples we will be using apm desktop we will not be uh, starting our apm server using this so for that uh, you can go to this path and from here you can select the windows option and you can download the apm for windows desktop so once this is done now we will see how we can create the virtual devices or the emulator using android studio so i will open my android studio right now so here in this drop down we have an option virtual device manager so click on this and here you get one option create device so click on create device button it will uh, open this pop up and here you can select the category and the different options so i have selected ca category as phone then i can select any option from here i have selected pixel 5 click on next you have to select the system image so these are the different system images lollipop marshmallow and i will select this api level 31 so because this is already downloaded in my laptop or you can go for the others as well and that will take some time for the download parts as this one is already downloaded in my laptop i will continue with this so i have selected api level 30 i will click on next button i will rename this as demo device so you can give any name here for your virtual device and click on the finish button so now you can see demo device is ready to launch so here we have different actions and i can select the launch action here so you can see the launching emulator pop-up is here and it is starting this demo device emulator so this is our virtual device now and you have the different options here like power volume up down rotate left right camera zoom in other options so i will click on this power button and it will start this virtual device so in this way using android virtual devices and the android virtual device manager uh, in the android studio you can create your virtual devices so this is it for the first video in the next video we will try to cover more things